I'd like to talk to you guys about symmetry with parabolas and using the symmetry to be able to find points on the graph um, or even draw the graph sometimes because they don't really give you enough information on the picture. So remember for the equation if you're using your stat function to figure out what the equation is you need at least three points and sometimes they don't give you that but if you remember the fact that parabolas are symmetrical you can fold them in half about the vertex or the max of the min and they'll be the same. We can use that information to help us figure out more information on the graph. So, if I take a look at what's been given to me here, I've got an arch, I have this idea that I know that it meets the x-axis at 15, and I'm guessing that's 0, 0 there. So I could have a point of 0, comma 0, I could have a point of 15, comma 0 out here, and in fact I've given you another one here but that's just for an exercise to figure out other ideas um, or other points. So we do have three here but let's see what else we can figure out. Um, where's the midpoint going to be? Where's that max going to happen? If it's 15 across and we're symmetrical, how would you figure out where the maximum is? When you think about drawing a little dotted line down, it might look like it gets cut in half and it does. So what's half of 15? 7.5, so I know my maximum would happen at 7.5 and some height. Maybe I'll tell you what that is and say that that's 11. So I could have a point here that would be at 7.5 comma 11. Now this one here is a bit interesting but I want to use the symmetry there to figure that out as well. If I start on the left hand side at the bottom and I go over 3 and up 7 I'll hit a point on the graph. So thinking about that symmetry, I should have one over here as well that's identical on the other part of the symmetry line. So again, if I folded these two in half, those points would meet up. And one way I might think about that is I have to go in a distance of three from where it touches the ground. So let's go back from this point where it touches the ground a distance of three. That gets me to 12, and it should be the same height of seven. So this point out here would be 12, comma seven using that symmetry. So again, they should both be a distance of 3 from the midline. So, important to use the symmetry. It will be very valuable for you. Keep in mind that if you know the, the two bottoms or the two x-intercepts, your max is going to be halfway between those, and use that symmetry. Now there's one more example I'm going to look at here. Um, that's a little bit more vague and just gives you the problems in terms of words and you've got to draw a diagram to figure out anything at all for it. So I'm showing you an arch and I'm telling you that it's 28 meters wide at the base and it's 35 meters tall. Now there's two ways we can set up this problem but the important thing in here is actually to draw in your axes, your xy axes or your grid. So there's two ways to think about doing it. We can be symmetrical and put the grid line right through the middle, or we can put the grid line through one of the endpoints. So let's do the endpoint first. Sorry, my straight lines will not be very straight on the tablet. X comma Y. So now I have a reference that I can put points against and make measurements off of. I know that it's telling me it's 28 meters wide at the base, so if this is 0, that must be 28 to be 28 wide. And it's 35 meters tall, so I know that it's 35 meters tall. What kind of information do I need to add to that? Well, again, that's the max, so that should be halfway between the two at 14. So now I've got three points here. I have 14, 35, I have 0, 0, and I have 28 comma zero. So I have three points, I'm away and I can go with it. Now just as a example, because sometimes it might be more beneficial to set things up this way, we can take that same exercise basically. I'll just do it smaller over here. And instead of doing my grid axes to the bottom corner, I could also do it to the middle and use that idea of symmetry. Not that this is very symmetrical looking, having just sketched it. But what if I use my xy graph here? So I know I'm 35 tall 
and that's going to be at 0. So I could say that I've got the point 0, 35. And then I could also know that I'm a total distance of 28 across. So from the middle, that should be half of 28 to each side. So that would be 14, and that would be negative 14. So you could have these points as well, negative 14, 0, or 0, sorry, 14, 0. Now I'm not saying combine everything on the blue and everything on the red. You'd use one or the other, but keep in mind that you can put your axes in one of two spots, either lining it up to a base point, to an axis, or to an intercept there, or lining it up to a max or a min, depending on what information's been given to you and what's going to be more helpful. But in both cases, you'll get an equation that works for answering the questions and modeling the problem they've asked you. So keep that in mind and use the symmetry for problem solving.